A Houston area family is telling us they're heartbroken tonight and upset after a grand jury decided not to move forward with charging the man who shot and killed their nine year old daughter Arlene Alvarez back in February. Tony Earl says he was acting in self defense when he shot into the vehicle that he thought was a getaway car for a robber who had just attacked him. Fox 26 is Tiffany Justice taking a closer look at what happens next. Right, we're told the grand jury's decision is final, but the family disagrees and believes that both men should be held accountable. Stop shooting into the vehicles. Our future is dying. Like, what is wrong with all of you guys? Where is the humanity? Where is your heart? Where is your soul? A tearful plea to the public, the Alvarez family asking for help to identify this man. Investigators are laser focused on this robbery suspect in this surveillance video who they say caused the chain of events. Tuesday, a grand jury decided the evidence was not substantial enough to charge Tony Earls for the death of nine-year-old Arlene Alvarez, the man who fired the gun. None of this happens without this person trying to rob somebody of their property. That's the person we are focusing on. In February, police say Tony Earls was at a Chase Bank with his wife on the East End when he was confronted by this robbery suspect. Earls shot at a car thinking they were involved, but it was the Alvarez family heading to dinner. Arlene was in the back seat. Investigators with HPD believes this robbery suspect knows the area and has committed a crime there before. His mother knows who he is. His siblings know, his girlfriends know, his friends know. His fellow gang members, if he's a gang member, no. Earl's attorney saying in a statement, the worlds of two different families were clashing at once from different perspectives. Mr. Earl's did what he believed anyone in that situation would have done. What the families are saying right now is, before a person, and I'm not saying Tony Earl's is a bad human, I think he made a horrible decision, he should be held accountable, but he won't be. But before another person does the same thing, to stop and think about what could go wrong. Tillman Fertitta is offering $25,000 for information leading to that robber. So the sum total is $30,000 for information leading to an arrest. You can contact Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS. Reporting Tiffany Justice, Fox 26 News.